Oh, are you going to balance? Is the dog just going to run around in circles chasing his own butt? Probably. Um, you're not balancing very well. Sorry. Um, hello. Welcome to what was supposed to be a 10-day vlog. Um, I'm going to make a long story very short. You know how April has been like really chaotically busy for me? Well, the beginning of this 10 days became a whole lot more chaotic and I haven't been able to do anything other than stress about things uh, for the last five days. So, I am five books behind schedule. We have five days left and ten books to read. Now, uh, there was one book that I have finished that wasn't in the last vlog and isn't in this one because I was listening to it on audiobook and did manage to somehow finish that. And that is The Adventures of Amina al-Sarafi. Um, this is the Waterstones edition, my fairy loot edition is up there. Beautiful book. I absolutely loved it. Loved it. Loved the ending, specifically with the character at the end. If you've read it, you will know what I mean. Uh, but I really enjoyed this. This is about Amina, who is a legendary pirate. And what I loved most about this, I think, is that she is an older woman. She's an older mother. Um, and she's still going out and kicking butt, but also dealing with the guilt of being a mother doing that. And to be fair, the crew, the crew are all, you know, older with families and histories and... They were just some really interesting characters with interesting lives and lives that like had meaning and consequence and stuff because they weren't all just kids, you know. Um, I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. I don't really know what to say, but I loved it. I am a big S.A. Chakraborty fan or Shannon Chakraborty as we're going by now. Um, for people who have said, like, it's not like David Bad, like, of course it's not like David Bad, it's a different book. Um, but I loved David Bad, and I can still see the things that I loved about David Bad in this, like the whimsical writing, the beautiful atmospheres, the gorgeous settings, the legend and the lore. We have some of those same mythical creatures and stuff popping up in this. I thoroughly enjoyed. And, um, I think it lives up to the love of David Bad. Um, I haven't put it through Core Pile, but it feels very much like a high four, may even scrape a five star. I fucking loved it. So there's that. Um, so that was my 20th book of the month. I am 10 books behind. Not 10 books behind, five books behind. We have five days left. So this is going to be a slightly shorter vlog, but maybe a bit more intense. So what are we doing? First and foremost, I'm going to be binging some Toilet Bound because I'm still in like the same mystery from the volumes I've been reading before. So I'm going to be reading volume 12 of this like now when I finish this vlog update, I'm going to start this um, and we'll see how far through Toilet Bound I can get. I only have four more volumes that I own to read. I need to purchase more of them. Um, but that is where I'm at with that. Very excited to do so. Also, there is a desperation in me to reread Annihilation. This is only little, so I would like to try and do that. I loved this book when I read it first time, and I'm constantly nervous that it's not going to live up to how much I loved it before, but I desperately want to reread it, so... This is also on my like immediate plan and I'm still going with the end of everything. I haven't picked this up since last time but I'm about halfway. This is my non-fiction one. Um, also, I have my non-fiction book on time that I might try and read soon as well. So I've got, I've got plans, I've got things that are on my mind, things I want to read. Um, it's just a case of if in five days I can do that. So stay tuned to find out because I am ridiculously stressed. My life is 
going up in flames around me at the minute and we'll just see what happens come on the ride it's fun i promise <laughs> one volume of hannah cocoon done so i have finished volume 12 i'm immediately going into volume 13 if you've been keeping up with these vlogs and what's going on in toilet bound hannah cocoon you will know that it has been like four volumes of the same mystery and I've been desperate to get to the end of it. We finally got to the end of it, so I have wrapped up that mystery. We've moved into a new one. We had part one of that mystery in volume 12 and that mystery continues into volume 13. I really like this cover for volume 13. It's really pretty. Uh, and this mystery, it appears, is death. So let's see how they conquer that one. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get through that this evening. Maybe another, um, maybe I'm on a roll. Who knows? Who knows? But progress is being made. <laughs> right, so last night I was reading. <laughs> Funny that. Um, I think I told you that I finished volume 12 of Toilet Bound. I then went on to finish volume 13 of Toilet Bound and then today I have finished volume 14 of Toilet Bound so I am getting back on track but not only have I finished these three today I have also finished two more books one of those being Witch Hat Atelier volume 2 I've been putting off reading this for ages because I couldn't get hold of volume four. I now own volume four, so I have no excuses. So I'm very excited to be carrying on with this about a young witch called Coco, who isn't necessarily a very good witch and um, the trouble that that causes, but somehow she is connected to a group of witches that are not good and do forbidden magic, but she doesn't know how she's connected to them or why that causes so much trouble for her. Um, but I'm enjoying this a lot so far. Look forward to continuing. Um, and then I also read The Jade Settler of Jan Loon by Fonda Lee, which just reminded me how much I love the Greenbone saga. So I'm really glad to have read this. It's a nice little, well, nice. As nice as the Greenbone saga can be. Um, little novella that slots in there about the jade setter, the guy who sets the jade into the pieces, whether that be in jewellery or weapons or into the person, um, and the jade setter's apprentice, and some trouble that they get into and how that affects the clans and so on. But it's set before the events of the Greenbone Saga, I think. So there's that as well. So that does mean that I'm now only a few books behind. It's the 27th today and I have five books to finish. Five. Can I do it? Maybe. Because I do have three more volumes of Toilet Bound. I did only have 15 left but Cece, bless your heart, Cece has sent me the last two that are currently published. So I have three more volumes of Toilet Bound to read, which will put me back on track. So I might read some more of this tonight, maybe. Um, I also have Witch Hat Atelier Volume 3. So I'm just rapidly filling these final spots with manga, really. Um, and that's not what I wanted to have to do. So this is more of a safety net than anything because the over ambitious wildness that I am <laughs> has decided to start the art of prophecy uh, this is just the dust jacket here is the book look at those edges um, it's not small it is not a little book um, but I just really fancied starting this today I just love those spread edges. I should hold up the dust jacket really so you can see the cover. I just really fancied starting this today by Wesley Chu, the War Arts Saga Art of Prophecy. Um, so far I'm really enjoying this. I am only like 70 pages in, 73 pages in so far. 
but I'm really enjoying it and would like to get through some more of it tonight. So I think my plan for tonight is maybe one more volume of Toilet Bound just to keep me going with my numbers and then Art of Prophecy because I'm having a good time with this. I'm enjoying it and it's what I want to read right now even if reading <laughs> chunky books isn't the best plan for the 30 and 30 thing I've got going on. Um, so that that's my current situation. Do you even know what Art of Prophecy is about? Um, prophecies don't make heroes, they only choose them. Okay, I haven't met all of the characters yet that the blurb mentions, but basically, Jean, our main character, is prophesized to be a war hero. Um, and this prophecy has been around for thousands of years, and the people of this religion have been looking for the prophesized chosen one, the war hero. Um, and they find Jean and he is the hero. So he is raised in splendor. He is given this incredible life where he wants for nothing because he's the prophesied hero. Um, but in that life, he may grow up to think that he's this chosen one and he's so great and he cannot be defeated. But the reality of that is that he hasn't been trained to be a war hero. Um, so the prophecy may have picked the wrong person. <laughs> um, or, as it says here, prophecies don't make heroes, they only choose them. So he still needs to be made into a war hero. Um, and it says that there are three people, a band of unlikely heroes, three people that rise to make him the hero that he needs to be. I've only met one of those so far, which is Tiashi, who is a grandmaster who's sworn off her days of battle. Um, but she is with Jian now. And uh, she's a bit of a bitch, and they don't get on, but she's determined to help him and train him properly. Um, and I'm sure I will meet those other characters a little bit later on, but I'm having fun with it. I'm enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to reading more. So I'm going to go and settle in for the evening and read a little bit of Toilet Bound, and hopefully a lot of prophecy. <laughs> Hello, happy Saturday. I keep being confused thinking it's Sunday because there's racing on but it's not it is Saturday um it's the 29th so I have today and tomorrow to finish five books <laughs> it's going so well for me isn't it but today is my Patreon 24 hour readathon for my Pokathon gym that we do. If you didn't know, in my Patreon, I do a year long readathon based on Pokemon. We're in Gen 2. So the aim is that there is a prompt for every Pokemon to complete throughout the year. And for each of the gyms in that generation of Pokemon, we have a 24 hour readathon. Today is the Azalea gym for the bug type Pokemon. So I should get a lot of reading done today. I'm about to start sprints with my patrons for that. And my plan is, first and foremost, to get through three volumes of Toilet Bound. And that should really help me out because then I'll only need to read two books. So three volumes of Toilet Bound. And I am halfway through The Art of Prophecy. I'm really enjoying this. Enjoying? I don't know what that voice was there. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I don't know how much I've told you, um, but it perhaps wasn't the best idea to start a chunky book when I'm so far behind and I'm now really behind again, but I'm really glad I decided to pick it up because I was in the mood for it and I'm thoroughly enjoying it and I'm about halfway. So I should finish this today as well. So if I can finish The Art of Prophecy, and three volumes of Toilet Bound today, this is my today plan, then I will only need one more book to complete my 30 reads in 30 days, I think. I think. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. I'm gonna get on with that, starting with Toilet Bound volume 15, and uh, we'll see how far I can get. Right, I am... Um, up to date with Toilet Bound, Hannah Kogan. I have finished volume 15, 16 and 17 today. <sighs> and I do not like where it's ended. And I do not like that I'm going to have to wait until July for volume 18. 
and I do not like that I don't know how many more there's going to be or when they're going to be or anything because I need more <laughs> um, but I'm so intrigued with where the story's going I think it's just getting better in these later volumes now that we've kind of moved from um, like it's about this school and these school mysteries and it's all very paranormal connected to these seven school mysteries but now we've kind of gone through the story of those seven school mysteries it's taking a bigger turn into like a bigger overall story um, and I'm very invested as I would hope to be 17 volumes into something but yeah uh, I can't wait to see what happens next when I eventually get to it which isn't yet because it doesn't come out until July but that does mean that I have now only two books behind I'm not behind I don't have two books left for 30 books in 30 days today is the 29th tomorrow is the 30th I need to finish one more book on the 29th and one book on the 30th and I will be on track um so my plan as I said after reading Toilet Bound would be the Art of Prophecy, um, which I am very much enjoying and um, just over halfway into anyway because I've been listening to the audiobook and reading along for a couple of days now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dive into that and uh, have a grand old time because I'm thoroughly enjoying. But I finally feel like maybe the panic is over that I might not fit uh, 30 books into 30 days. But I will say this week has just been the week that keeps on giving because um, it's just been bad news after bad news this week. So being able to finish 30 books in 30 days is just that little bit of good news I need, I think. So I'm going to read this book and let you know what I think when I finish it and we'll see where we take it from there. Hello, we're having a bad angle because I can't be bothered to hold you up. But I finished The Art of Prophecy. This was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Like, possible five star potential? I haven't run it through Core Pile, but the way I felt whilst reading this, like, I just never wanted it to end because I was enjoying the story so much and the characters and the violence <laughs> i just really like this i love these like prophecy stories and stuff that does seem to be something i'm enjoying a lot of but yeah i really liked this so if you debate in picking it up because i think it's a relatively recent release um it's got my seal of approval i really liked it if you're liking like the martial arts fighting school sort of vibes then it's got that but it's also got prophecy and that discussion of whether prophecies um are real or control your free will or is your future decided for you those sorts of conversations there is a little bit of political action here i wouldn't say like i wouldn't call it a political fantasy it's not political enough for me to call it that but there's a little bit of politics in there um we've got one of our main characters who is this grumpy old woman who kicks butt but is pissed about it the whole time you've got a shadow kill who is a brutal murderer who basically an assassin but like the top tier of assassins um we have a young boy who is a prophesized hero and doesn't know like what to do with that but is also been raised in a certain way that needs to be like untaught and so on um i i really liked it i really liked it i don't know if it is going to get five stars or maybe a high four but I had a fantastic time with this and I'm glad that it's over and I'm glad that I'm going to have to wait so long for the next book in this series because this is the first one and this one only came out this year so what do I do? Finn? No, no! <sighs> Hebel. Grim. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to wait ages for the sequel. Finn. <laughs> Do you mind? Um, that does put me on book 29 and it is the 29th. So I have one day left 
one book left to read. I'm amazed that I've managed to get to this point and pull it back because I honestly thought that I was gonna fail. I thought I was gonna fail. Um, this week has been an absolute whirlwind um, and I can't wait for April to just be gone. Not because of 30 books in 30 days, um, just April in general has been a bit of a shit show. Um, but we have one day left and one book left and I think what I want to do, although I am halfway through the end of everything, um, I just really want to read Annihilation. So I'm going to take Annihilation to bed with me tonight and read some of it because I want to read it. It's a reread. I loved it when I read it, like, oh my goodness, like seven years ago. But I loved it when I read it then. So let's see if I still love it. I really hope I do. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be my 30th book. <laughs> is over. This last week, 10 days, like it's not 10 days because I haven't vlogged the whole 10 days, it has been the last week. This was supposed to be a 10 day vlog, I apologise. This last week has been so weird. <laughs> Absolute chaos. Everything has just caught fire and I think we're lucky I made it to the end of April, to be honest. But I am thrilled to tell you that I did make it to the end of April and I did finish 30 books in 30 days. Now, I didn't want to have to rely so heavily on so much Toilet Bound. These are all in the wrong order. Um, but I have finished all of Toilet Bound and that really helped me. And then one book I had left and I reread Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This is one of my favourite sci-fis. It's kind of like a sci-fi thriller about this area called Area X um, where there have been multiple expeditions into it because they're not entirely sure what it is, where it came from, what it's doing. Um, so different expeditions have gone into Area X. Some of them have not come back out, some of them have come back out and have come back out very changed and this follows the 12th expedition of women and is from the perspective of the biologist. I really enjoy this. It's a tiny book but um, if you've not heard me rave about Annihilation, here I am raving about Annihilation. I have met Jeff Vandermeer many years ago now, signed and personalised. I love these books. Um, so ended on a reread and somehow managed 30 books. Totally honest, I didn't think I was going to make it. And if it wasn't for all of those volumes of Toilet Bound, I wouldn't have made it. Um, I did have a little bit of self-sabotage by throwing in The Art of Prophecy, um, but I'm really glad I did because five star. So... Hurrah! Um, but that does bring us to the end of April. I don't know what I've read in this vlog. Mostly toilet bound manga, I think. My camera died, how rude. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I've read in this vlog. Mostly toilet bound manga, I think. Um, with The Art of Prophecy and Annihilation in there as well. So you know what? Two five star reads. Um, well, I haven't rated this one because I gave it five stars when I read it the first time. And I'm going to stick with that. And then, yeah, five stars for this. Um, Amina. Did I read that in this vlog as well? Maybe three. If I read that in this vlog. I've entirely lost track of time and can only apologise for the absolute chaos of whatever you've just seen. If, like, it's even been worth your time. I just... 
this the, um, the end of this month has just not been kind to me. Um, and I don't really want to go into it. I don't want to talk about it. But there's a lot of shit going on in my personal life that's just shat all over me at the end of this month. So we're going to focus on the positives of I managed 30 books in 30 days. I have made it to the end of April. And I am very excited to be able to read whatever the fuck I want in May and not worry about having to hit quotas or whatever. Um, there may be a loose May TBR. A maybe yar. <laughs> maybe red. Maybe. I don't know. There, there might be one of those happening. I haven't done it yet, and it's the end of April, so there might not be. Um, but I have a lot of things I would like to read in May, so maybe. But uh, I'm really proud of myself for reading as much as I did in April. Um, so congrats to me. Would I do it again? Yes. Do I feel like I cheated? Yes. So if I do it again in future, I want to do it properly with less manga, hopefully in a month that isn't quite so shitty. So maybe I'll do it again sometime in another month with 30 days. We'll see. Or I'll wait until April next year and just hope it's nicer. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through our April and watching the chaos unfold. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to go and sleep for three days, maybe. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I shall see you in whatever comes next. <laughs> Bye. Bye.